guys welcome back to my channel it's Trisha guys I have been really enjoying making wall art lately I don't know what it is but here is another piece that I was inspired by I found this on overstock.com I want to make something similar it's gonna be a tad bit different but similar so if you're interested in seeing how I made mine keep watching for this project I use a 10 inch mirror the mirrors that I get come in a pack of six it's like $2.65 each, which is really not bad, especially if you like using mirrors in your home decor art projects. So I'll leave a link to all the items in this project in the description box below. I placed the mirror on top of a piece of foam board and traced around it. The outline will really come in handy to determine where to place pieces. Since I'm planning to use hot Gorilla Glue for this project, I decided to place a piece of parchment paper on the foam board so that the glue will not stick to the board. Next, I placed blocks around the outline. I was so happy that these pack of blocks were only a dollar because I ended up using four to five of them. Afterwards, I moved the blocks towards the inside part of the line. Next, I glued a block in between each block on the first row. Once I finished that row, I did the same process. This piece has six rows, but you can do as many rows as you want. After a while, I noticed that some of the blocks were not straight. I could have made it a little bit straighter, um, but I think I was working a little bit too fast. So if you do decide to do this project, just make sure you take your time and make the blocks as straight as possible. Next, I use my heat gun to get rid of all the glue strings. I've had a couple of people reach out to me to ask me if they could use a blow dryer in place of a heat gun. I want to ask those that actually have used a blow dryer was that effective? Did you get rid of the glue strings or did it not work? I let the glue dry and set for about an hour and then I went outside and spray painted it black. This is going to be my base coat. After that dried, I spray painted both sides chrome. The next day, I flipped over the piece so that the front side was facing down. Then I placed the mirror on top and placed hot glue along the sides to secure it. That's it. This was very easy to do and inexpensive to make. Thanks guys for watching. Have a great week.